Mindfulness has been around for thousands of years and has been especially. Brainstorm is an exchange of ideas, nothing more, nothing less. Having said that, and your business to others, you know you've done a great job. taken in Blackpool. Those umbrellas were amazing $50 five-piece aluminum cookware. We may be known for being in this position all the time, but we can't help it. There's no more work. We've finished. It's done. We all know that people are most productive. business no one really wants to have nothing to do now as you get more pressure describe sort of the optimal state to be productive in that is with a really clear head so that you can be fully hi well this works really well thank you well I first want to thank everyone for being here today uh, this afternoon I think you're all a little bit tired and uh, let me begin with asking a question. Which, of you has, which one of you has ever heard of good habits again? Can I see some fingers, please? Ever heard of good habits? OK. Hopefully, that one is changing after the meeting of today that you know who good habits is. And second thing to guess, depending on my accent, which country do you think I come from? Besides, well, what do you think, someone? Belgium? Mexico could be too. Belgium is actually pretty close. Someone another guess? Sorry? The Netherlands, very good. We come where all, where all your football trainers come from. That's, and that's where you know the accent too. Well, uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, I'm the one in the back. Uh, I got four kids. And this is my lovely wife. She obviously married me for my money, as you can see. And what we are doing is I have a very lovely family and I love sailing a lot. And I promised Adrian one slide of the parasailer that I used to cross the Atlantic Ocean two years ago. And uh, this is the one, Adrian, actually 107 square meters. I don't know how many feet it is. And that's actually me on the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I love sailing. I love to do a lot of things. But actually, um, I was in e-learning for a very long time. I'm the CEO and founder of uh, Good Habits, a company we started six and a half years ago. And my previous experience is that I always was in a bespoke e-learning company. I think that's the way you call it. And what we did is we launched Good Habits in 2011. What we are is basically an off-the-shelf e-learning company. And what we're trying to do, what we're going to do with it, I'm going to explain in the next 20 minutes to you. What are we doing now? We're based in Eindhoven, and from Eindhoven, we are now expanding our business. And actually, this is kind of a pre-launch for us. We're going to start our business from London, uh, actually from the 1st of July. Uh, we're going to use July and August to start up the company and then be really active from uh, the 1st of September. From the Netherlands, we're going to start up in France. We already are stationed in Germany. Uh, we're already stationed in Paris. And from there, we're basically going to conquer Europe and the UK. That's, I think, what I have to say nowadays. I'm sorry for that. Um, what can you expect from us? Well, basically, first I'm going to tell you what a lot of people are going to tell you here today. But on the other hand, I'm trying to tell you what makes us a little bit different, what our unique selling points are. If you look at our course categories, we are a generic off-the-shelf e-learning company. We provide e-learning in a lot of ways, like commercial skill management, personal effectiveness, safety, social media, productivity, and even Microsoft Office. It is kind of the generic work-related courses that everyone wants and everyone needs. And so we have those two. We did a survey in the UK, in Germany, and in the Netherlands lately to ask all the people about which are the categories that you think are really popular right now. And I want you to guess, from the three countries that we did a survey on, on amongst students. Students 
employees or businesses? Which one do you think is the most popular one? Just anyone? Guess? Sorry? Social media? Anyone take another guess? Sorry? Personal effectiveness. Anyone? It's still not the good one. That's on the number one list. You're going to be surprised. It's courses about positive psychology. If you create personal courses for people and they want to develop themselves, personal effectiveness is very important. But what's mostly in the way of being really effective at your work is yourself. Knowing yourself, knowing your colleagues, knowing to work with yourself, knowing to work with your colleagues. Because these are all the things that makes it very hard to do the, your thing. We do it in Dutch. We have 104 trainings in Dutch available. We do it in English. Today, 25 courses in English available. And we do it in German, uh, 36 by head, in France and in Spain. And we only have one of those. But we're building it up pretty fast. Um, to look at some of the categories again. Um, we have trainings like Excel, obviously one of our most popular ones. Also social media marketing, very popular right now. But uh, also courses like time management, the 80-20 uh, rule. Uh, I think most of you know these Pareto principles. Uh, a course like Tell It What It Is, giving you feedback, learning how to give proper feedback to other people. Uh, we got a really popular one uh, like ba Badass Brainstorming. People do a lot of brainstorming and we like to learn them how it works and obviously also test yourself. And courses like Oh Yes, It's Stress because I think here in the UK people are also involved with a lot of stress nowadays. What we do is we deliver courses every month. So every month in the UK we publish four new courses. So. Um, that means that our portfolio is growing really, really fast. Uh, we do two in Dutch, we do also four in Germany, and we're expanding the other languages very quickly now. What is really different about what we do, instead of all the other ones like Skillsoft and Cross Knowledge, I guess you all know these kind of people, is that we say, well, if you have different people, they have different learning styles. So what we do, we lose different learning formats. If you walk around here, you can see a lot of people using micro learning formats or video formats or some are uh, used, using a lot of paper, magazines or whatever. Well, actually what we are doing is we believe reading online is still very good. So we use magazines. Uh, what we also do is create all kind of smart information that people can use. We have assessments like a quick scan because people really love to do tests, quizzes, we do assignments, uh, what a high five test is like an assessment on the end and we use various various video formats we even have our own comedian in every course that we do creating sketches about the delivery of the subject that we do there well one of the main difference that we have for uh, um, as a unique selling point that is that we deliver everything for just 22,000 pounds a year, and you get access to all the trainings. You have to figure out a little bit, all the trainings, all the Dutch ones, you really want those, I guess. Uh, yes, also the Dutch ones, but also all the English ones, the German ones, the French ones, and you pay only 22,000 euros. At the beginning, I spoke to a guy, and he said, well, I have 22,000 employees, but, if I have 22,000 employees, do I still get to pay 22,000 pounds a year? That's one pound a person each. Say, yes, that's still the case. In the Netherlands, we have a lot of clients that are using this model and is using this model very, um, very effective. I will show you later on. Just a little bit where we are today. Just to give you a little bit of an idea, in the Netherlands now, we are the market leader. We are actually the biggest, it's a small country, I know, but one of the biggest um, e-learning providers that there are. Started in 2011, I already told you, and we have four subsidiar subsidiaries across Europe now and building up very quickly. Uh, we have 60 employees um, over all, divided over all the countries, and we have over 400 clients. 
So to give you roughly an idea, if you do uh, quick calculations, we have about 400 people, 400 clients that pay us approximately 22,000 pounds a year where we do the delivery for them. If you add all those students together, we have uh, now an, an, a very impressive student total of over 1 million students that are working with our content. And now, and this is the number I'm most proud of for everything I'm going to tell you today, we have a retention of 95%. That basically means that every client we sign up, 95% are renewing their subscription. And of course, it is a little bit about money. It is only 20, 22,000 pounds, but it is basically because we do one thing that is very different from everyone else, and that is we make our students attend our courses. Um, we picked some clients. I think some of them are also well known here in the UK. Do you know some of them? Actually, most of them pretty big companies, normally over 1,000 employees, but sometimes over 10, 20, or even 30,000 employees. And the most important question for us is, why do they stay? And basically, what is very important for me is that, of course, the quality of our trainings is very good. And of course, they're really fun to do, and it's all about positivity, because we are good habits. Why would you bother learning people bad habits if you can learn them good habits instead? So it's not difficult about that. But actually, um, we are really committed so you have to understand, for the 22,000 euros, we don't have consultants or we can, don't have an hourly rate or whatever. The only thing we're interested in is if a client signs up for the 20, 20, 20, sorry, 22,000 pounds, then if he signs up, we want him to be happy as a client. That's basically what we want. That's the most important thing. How do we do that? If you sign up with us, you get a dedicated coach and he will help you to be successful in e-learning. And how can we do that? Well, at first, we organize lots of kickoff sessions in this company, learning people, how can you work with this content? You have to figure out a little bit. We are actually having 400 clients, and all these clients have different figures in usage. And if you look at all these clients, then you can see that there's one thing that's always the same. And if you do a little bit of statistics, then you can say, if they all use the same portfolio of trainings and good habits, and the usage is very different, then the main reason why it could work or not is, is what people are doing with it. Do they use it for an onboarding program? Do they use it just for personal development? Or do they want to use it for sales or more client focus, whatever? That's basically why it is successful. We have lots of inspirational workshops we're going to do. We do something, as we call workouts. We work together. We believe in blended learning, not only in the traditional way, like an instructor or a trainer in combination with the e-learning, but actually one of the most important things that we think is that it happens on the job, in your daily work. If you want to implement something, then implement that people can do a training for 15 minutes or half an hour every day and telling them why they should do that. Often HR managers are not very good at telling their bosses why, what is the return on investment, or why did we buy this training, why do we need this as a company. So we help them, because we wrote already 400 times this notes that you sent to the board. So we can help them with that a lot. And we have a lot of promotional materials like posters, stickers, whatever, all kinds of things that are there. And of course, customer service. Maybe you saw some of them already today. What's really important is that we don't customize nothing. With our, every client, we are exactly the same. And if you look at what we're doing, is that actually we are so good in doing what we always do, adjusting it to the market instead of the clients, is that we learn very well to listen very well to our clients. Because the only thing we bother us about is what they want to do with our stuff. Show you some figures. This, do you know this company, TUI? Is it big in the UK too? Okay. It's a tour operator. I think it's based in the Netherlands. If you look at what happens here, 
then you can see what we are doing with our clients. If you look actually, when they started, first we start with a kickoff. And in a kickoff meeting, we just make sure that everyone attends our courses and they know who we are. And then from that point, you always see it drops a little bit. And to be honest, a lot of e-learning projects have failed in the past. A lot of e-learning projects didn't work because the usage was very, very low. And as you see it now, it drops a little bit down. So what we do then is we call our client and we say, well, do you have time to have a cup of coffee with us? Because we want to explain you something, your number is dropping. So we have some ideas to get the numbers up a little bit. And then we start an internal communication and marketing campaign, and then it goes up again. And sometimes we tell them, well, what you should do is set up one course and tell everyone in your organization to do that one course and let it sent by your CEO. Because if your CEO sends that it says it's very important to do one course, then everyone will attend these course and then the usage goes up. And then by using that kind of metaphors, the usage of the trainings gets up and then it stays up as, it, as if you do it the right way. All those documents, these implementation plans, strategies, etc., we all have written out in memos, documents, and we help our clients to do this. Another client, you know this one? Here? It's an accountant like PricewaterhouseCoopers, something like that. It's, I think, the fifth largest in the Netherlands, but I don't know how big it is in the UK. You can see here, too. This is a typical graph, starting up, dropping a little bit down, and setting up the action again and again. So if you learn working that way, that you can influence the usage of your trainings a lot, then you can work a lot with that. And then in the end, if you have a client, and a client that is working in this way, like Randstad, I think that's big in, in the UK, too. Yeah. If you set it up properly and you do properly campaigns and you repeat it time after time, time after time, then you can see the usage goes up and up and up and up. Basically, one of the things we learn from all our clients, because we listen to our clients and then we say to them, what happens now is what we actually learned is we see learning like a supermarket. And when you go in there, you see a lot of products that you can use. If you use an off-the-shelf product like Good Habits, you see like the shelves in the supermarket with a lot of products. Some you like, some you don't, some you use, some you don't. If you, as an organization, want to speed up the usage of your e-learnings, then it's basically pretty simple. And it happens to me all the time when I come home. And sometimes my wife, you know now what she looks like, she sends me, so I always listen to her, um, she sends me back to the supermarket and says, Martin, could you please help me and get me a carton of milk because I forget it. And what I do is I go back to the supermarket, take one of those baskets and I start wandering around the supermarket and I come at the cashier and then lots of stuff is in my basket and most of the time I forget the milk. But actually, this is the way we promote e-learning. We tell your CEO or do it from HR send your people to the supermarket every now and then to get them a carton of milk. Because if you send them in to do a lean management course or as an organization, tell them to be opt optimistic because it's better than being a pessimist. If you tell your people, go to one course, what will happen, and we can show you in the figures that it's really there, what will really happen there is that people are gonna do all the other courses. They go in and they say, well, this is good, I see Excel, that's exactly what I need. Or well, the other one says, oh well, this is mindfulness, this is exactly what I need. And people are doing all things around them because you see it. That's why in our portal we have also a functionality that you can put courses in the spotlight. And it's like in the supermarket when they market the products, when they want you to buy this one spaghetti, it's always on the height of your eyes and you buy that one. So you can influence this uh, with your learners too. From HR perspective, stimulating this way, I think this works really, really well. So, what's next? Next is that we're coming to the UK. We hired a lot of very lovely people already, like Zai, and a lot of other people in the stand, already four of them, and we're gonna put our, um, our product 
into the market in the UK. But the only way and the only thing we can do is we can uh, be successful in the UK when we know what you people are, want our product, how you want to use our product, if you understand what I mean. If you want to want to use our product on your own boat onboarding program, well, it's fine. Some do. If you want to use our product just as plug and play content in your learning management system, it's per perfect. We use already 24 learning management systems and we cooperate with all the learning management systems that are here. So if you're there, just plug it in and use it like that. But the first thing is we now have 400 clients in the Netherlands and Germany that we are very proud of, are very experienced with, but we don't have so many in the UK. So I think there's a very big opportunity for you is being perhaps our first customer. And for that, I have a little assignment for you. <clears throat> we need your help. And what we actually need is we need you to come to our stand and sign up for the free demo for two weeks. The free demo for two weeks is just a giveaway and it doesn't mean anything. And if you want to have it longer, you can have it longer. If you want it for two or three colleagues, you can have for two or three colleagues. No problem there. But what we want from you is that you really participate in these e-learnings and tell us what you think about it. Tell us if you would need more titles. What do you really want? Tell us what you really want to do with the titles and how you want it to be used in your organization. What do you expect from us? If you sign up for the 20K subscription, then a coach will come to you and come and drink coffee with you. What are you going to ask the coach? What do you need him for? What do you need our trainings for? That's basically the first information that we really need you to give to us. The simple way to do it, sign up for the demo or come in our stand and we bleep you as it goes. And then we got a special prize for you because if you do and you give us constructive feedback, really constructive feedback, the only thing I mean, not only positive feedback, we don't want to be sucked up too much. The other one is, uh, giving us constructive, positive, and negative feedback about what you missed, what you want to do with it, and if you think it could work in your company. And if you do a really good job, then I promise you, you get a full subscription for one year for all your employees. And I don't mind, again, if you are 10,000 employees, 20,000, or maybe only 500, this is what we want from you. There's one little catch. We will come by, we will drink a lot of coffee with you and constantly keep asking you the same question. How are you doing? And can you help us please be more successful with all the other clients? And actually, that's what we always ask all our clients. Um, I think this is it. So if you want and you want to win the 22,000 pounds, then you can come to our stand. It's just around the corner. I don't know the number, but I guess you will find it. It's near the entrance, just across the elevators. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, I'll be here for you. Thank you.